welcome again. Uh, in this particular presentation, we'll be looking at uh, provision for bed debts, right? uh, still part of the income statement adjustment. And uh, they come in different ways. Sometimes you are given uh, to calculate provision for, uh, for bed debts uh, as a percentage, and that is more complicated because uh, there are certain adjustments that you need to make to the data most of the times. And sometimes you are given uh, the increase or the decrease of the provision for bed debt. Sometimes you are given uh, the current uh, provision for bed debt. And uh, in all these scenarios, uh, the provision for bed debt from the previous uh, financial year will, will be given uh, in the uh, trial uh, balance item. Uh, then that will be on the balance sheet account section. So you need to uh, basically, you know, look into two different areas in the balance sheet account section of the trial balance then uh, look into the notes and see what they're saying about the provision uh, for bad debts. In the scenario that we have, uh, you're given a pre-adjustment trial balance uh, on date one, uh, state one December 2019. Provision for bad debts is given as 13,350. That means uh, the previous. Then uh, the bad debts are uh, given as 19,303. Uh, that's uh, Basically, the difference between the two is uh, provision for bed debts is just uh, an estimation and assumption that uh, you know certain amount of data will default or will be written off. Right, but the bed debts are that's the actual expense now, whereby uh, it's it's been confirmed uh, that uh, certain particular data they won't pay, so that would be an expense. Then adjustment bed debts of 8,360 must be written off. The provision for bed debts must be adjusted to 10,418. So we have uh, 8,360 to be written off, and provision should be adjusted to 10,418. Okay, all right, uh, let's see how this makes out. So uh, the previous uh, provision for bed debts, um, right, uh, provision for bed debts. Right, I've got the previous, that's 13,015. So this is a common, most uh, um, straightforward right, uh, that's uh, this is the previous year. This is the straightforward one. Then the current, provincial for bed debts. Right, uh, is ten T says she must reduce to ten thousand four hundred eighteen. Right, uh, so that's the current, uh, the one that for twenty nineteen is ten thousand uh, four hundred eighteen. Uh, last year twenty eighteen it was thirteen thousand and fifteen. So there is a decrease. in uh, provision for bed debts right of how much right uh, that's zero uh, 15 minus 8 that's 7 10 minus 4 that's 6 then um, 3 minus 1 that's 2 that's, uh, there's a decrease of 2,670. Uh, there's a decrease of 2,670. Right, uh, so what you do with that decrease, uh, that's an income. Right, I'll show you where it goes. That's 13 and 15 minus 10 to 8. It's 2,570. That's 2,570, right? Uh, so uh, the decrease, right? Uh, this is how you're going to show it, right? Uh, on other incomes, right? So the provisions for last year was 13,050. 
and for current year is 10,400 so there's a decrease of 2,580 so uh, maybe you'll have rent income here then you write it then uh, decrease in provision for bed debts that's 2,000 570 that's an income then uh, you come to your expenses operating expenses uh, you live here uh, bed debts uh, that will be 19,000 here 303 plus uh, the right of 8,316 that should give you 18,000 uh, sorry 19,303 plus 8,316 that will give you 27,600 63 so at uh, the decrease in provision for bed debt uh, it's uh, it's an income right while well, it's an increase um, is um, an expense and you see in the income statement uh, we don't record uh, the current you only record the difference either the increase or the decrease that's what is recorded in the income statement in the current year financial statement can only record the full amount when it's the first calculation as I said, there was no provision for bed debts at all. So uh, the first calculation will be regarded as uh, an increase. So that's how you, you calculate uh, provision for bed debts. Right? Uh, you know, you just have to make sure that you can identify whether is it an increase or a decrease. If uh, last year was less than this year, that means there's an increase. So you only record the difference as an increase. That would be an expense. If last year is greater than this year, that means there was a decrease in provision for bed debt, which is an income, which will go on under other incomes as decrease in provision for bed uh, debts.